Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your Astrodice reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your small horoscope for the month. Ooh, going with the 11th house with some Neptune energy and some Virgo energy as well. So getting straight over here into this planet of what is it? It is Neptune. This is where you're talking about those daydreams. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. You're talking about those daydreams more than anything. Um, things that you want to manifest into reality. Um, going over here with some Virgo energy. This energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. So it's like, well, I'm going to daydream over here, but I'm going to do it very humbly. Um, okay, and maybe even di discriminate a little bit about what is, you know, truthful of what can happen and what is just fantasy, right? So maybe separating the two as well um, from each other. Okay. And going straight into the 11th house. And this is where your dreams are coming true. Where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So definitely talking about these dreams and these wishes. Okay. Alrighty. And getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Could be manifesting a lot over here. Wishing upon a star. Doing things of this nature. Okay. And getting straight in here. Two of Cups looks like you might be wishing for love. Looking for a healthy love relationship. It looks like you might be wishing for a healthy love relationship. One that says that it's good, right? I need it good. Might even be a little cold and a little withdrawn um, from a love from um, maybe people while you're doing so, or maybe from a love that you want. Maybe you're wishing for this love relationship to come back um, to uh, you know fruitation over here, hoping and wishing that it uh, you can get some kind of reconciliation going on. But for a lot of you, I really feel like you're dreaming and wishing for a true love to come in. Um, you might even be a little withdrawn, a little even maybe cold and withdrawn from other people at this time as you're doing. So maybe they see you as a little cold. Um, and this is just because maybe you feel like, you know, I'm really wishing upon a star over here, but maybe you feel like it's not really coming through with the hermit as well. Love. For some of you, yeah, true love. Yeah, it feels like you're not getting your, your cups fulfilled at this time, but you're really holding tight and trying to take control of the situation of the 11th house. Um, it looks like you have your eye on someone. Um, it, it could be a water sign. It could be a Cancer Scorpio. I do have Cancer twice. It doesn't have to be. Um, but it does look like you do have... It looks like you might be eyeballing someone, but it also looks like you might have met them at some kind of party um, in the beginning of the month. It could be this weekend. Um, <laughs> or last weekend, um, because it does feel like right now in the beginning of the month, you're like, you know what? I want to celebrate. I want to be happy with this new love. Um, whether it's a person you've already met and you want them to be your true love or you want true love or you want a reconciliation, take it how it resonates. But however it is, you're really taking control of this wish coming true, um, and really manifesting this in the beginning of the, of the month. In the middle of the month, you have the Empress upside down, the Magician upside down, and the Page of Cups. With the Magician upside down, it's almost like you you feel like your magic is not working. Um, you're not feeling the love from the Empress over here. It feels like you might feel like the person that you are trying to manifest is ignoring you, and your manifestation is not coming true, and they are not um, coming towards you with the apologies or the reconciliations or the love offerings. Um, 
the dates, you know what I mean, that, that you're looking for. You're still looking for the Page of Cups. You're really looking for this person to come to you um, one way or another, um, but it's not happening at mid-month. <clears throat> there is no action being taken in this manifestation, in this dream just yet. There's that humbleness coming through. Um, not only does Capricorn have the humbleness, but so does Virgo. Um, so it does feel like you're just looking at things pretty simplistically, um, trying to take the control. Um, if you want, uh, there could be somebody who wants a Capricorn as well. Um, you might even see them as simplistic and just calm and comforting, um, but they're not coming towards you the way that you want them to. Um, but I do see that you're seeing life is pretty simplistic at this time. I think you're still manifesting, even though you don't see the manifestation coming in. Yeah, they're not coming in passionately the way that you want them to. But it does feel like you are still, like I said, manifesting um, to have them passionately move towards you. You're keeping your passions and desires um, and this is you, this is a manifestation card. So like I said, you are manifesting um, and keeping those passions and desires for your wishes to come true. So you're waiting for this to come through and you're really hoping that it does. Um, and you're really hoping that they will show you this love offering with the imprints upside down there and just ignoring, and they, and you, they're ignoring the situation. Um, they don't, maybe they don't, if it's a new love and it's somebody that you're looking at, maybe they're not seeing it the way you're seeing it. You. Hmm. You guys ever think that maybe, just saying, you know, I have kids. Um, do you ever think that maybe you should be the one to go and reconcile if you really want this reconciliation? Or go ask this person out on a date. Just, you know, this is my own opinion. Um, only for the fact that um, a lot of times we wait for things that that can actually keep us away from things. We manifest it, manifest it, manifest it. But, you know, you, you sometimes you need to take the action. Because what I'm seeing here is if this is new love, this person doesn't even know you like them. If it's a reconciliation, they don't even think that they that you want a reconciliation with them. So my whole thing is, is you keep wishing for it, wishing for it, wishing for it. Manifesting people is one of the hardest things in the planet to do, right? <clears throat> Calling in a soulmate is one thing, but when you actually have your eyes on somebody, um, especially if they might even have a third party and you know that they might have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Um, but I was just sitting here, you know, I'm just looking at these cards. I'm sitting here thinking, instead of waiting for them to come say something, I think you should get, you know, go out there passionately and do it yourself. It will actually, it feels like that would be actually get the ball running instead of waiting. I have these, all these cancers up here and you guys, cancer Pisces are very shy people. You're waiting for one of the two shyest people on the planet to come towards you. <laughs> and even Tauruses don't always act like you think that they would act. They're not super, not the majority of most Tauruses are not super outgoing um, type of people because they're just not. They're usually waiting for the <clears throat> people to do that themselves as well to come after, you know, to do exactly what you're doing. So if you're waiting for those three signs to come towards you, you may have to, if you passionately, you, it's, I see the passion here, you're, you're going to have to go do this yourself. I just, I, you know, I just, I see all this shyness going on over here. I don't even know. And if you're going to reconciliate with someone, especially a water sign, because they probably think you don't want them. They don't have, water signs do not have the biggest securities. They have a lot of insecurities and in where there's emotions on their sleeves. Yeah, I just, 
It's like you want this person so, so much. And here comes the Queen of Cups again. A lot of you are dealing with a water sign. And this water sign, I feel, just does not have the inner securities to come apologizing, to reconcile, to come offer you a date. Because they probably think that you don't want any of the above. So they don't even recognize it, right? They're like not even in the knowing. That's just the way a lot of them are. They just don't see things like, like that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so with the three of pentacles over here in reverse, it's like you're still longing for them to put you on a pedestal for you to be recognized by this person and it's not happening. I just... And you might even feel like there's somebody, I, I, like I said before, somebody's going after them. And they may not even be really dating them, but they're pursuing them. And it's an interference of them trying to, you know, and that's for some of you. And it might even be a mistrusting person. And that might even and make you upset, right? How dare he or she who's mistrusting go after the person that I want, right? but you're not putting up a challenge you're not doing anything you're not standing your ground it's because you're just in wish mode you're in dream mode you're you're wanting something to happen you're you know lawn attracting this but it, it's not happening right You're having the realizations that you're not going to get to your satisfaction with the Queen of Cups. Perceiving that you have this passion, perceiving that they, you know, that they have everything that you want on a love mode. You might even have a friend who's pursuing them. But um, passions stuck in your head, messaging. Now messaging, that's what you need. That's what you need. You need to make contact. You need to do something. You're going to have to take more action because the only action I see from you is manifesting. You're going to have to write. You're going to have to push it to the next level to get their attention. This will bring in the strength. You're going to need a lot of strength and confidence to do so. Um, really use that strength and confidence. Yeah. To page to Knight of Cups, yeah, to offer them, to go towards them, to talk to them, because yeah, they're not coming towards you. So use your your free, you know what I'm saying? Use your self will over here to really push the limits, because they're not they're not going to come towards you. I could see that right off the bat. This will give more potentials for you to have communication and better communication with them. Um, and if they're not a water sign, they could have a lot of water in their energy. It could even be an Aquarius. But the thing is, is it's going to open up the doors of communication um, with both of you. Now, this is where it's going to start progressing. So to actually get this manifestation going, you're going to have to take some action towards this manifest, you know, this manifestation, this law and attraction, because they just don't have, I don't see any self-confidence in here enough. For them to and I don't care if they're you know mr. Pisces cocky person um, you know they can be the cockiest person yeah, yeah, you know <laughs> but um, I have a lot of Pisces uncles and you know they want to use that cockiness you know I'm the rooster yeah okay that's fine but when it comes to dating you're like the shy guy right <clears throat> Um, but yeah, you're going to have to actually take some actual action to this wishing and hoping that they come towards you. And it could be that you guys are at a celebration. Maybe, you know, you guys were talking at one time. You thought they noticed you. Maybe you even gave them your phone number. Maybe you're waiting for this reconciliation. However, this situation is, if you want this to happen, you have to actually take action. And that's that because they're not coming towards you. Their insecurities are too high. <clears throat> They don't think they're good enough. They don't this, that, whatever it is, not thinking at all, you know, however. And I do think for most of you, it is, um, it's male. And even females though, too, you know, even the females, I've, I've got a couple of female friends. They don't, and the female friends just don't think that anybody really 
you know, cares for them much because they hold that uh, uh, emotions on their sleeve um, or are a little naive to the factors, however. But uh, yeah, more than anything, I see a lot of you, it is probably a Pisces. I have more Pisces up here than I have anything, that in Cancer, excuse me, uh, more than anything. So I would say that, yeah, you definitely need to take action to get your satisfaction, get your wish to come true. Open up that door of communication so they know you're interested because a lot of this is saying, I don't know who's interested, what's going on. I don't know if they want a reconciliation. They might just hate me, you know, however it is. Okay, so take it how it resonates. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.